Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall and Roof here, Sunday, April the 14th, uh, 2019 AD. Uh, today uh, we had Friend Day. Actually, here's, here's the, the bulletin from church here. Friend Day! Got the date. There's the uh, website and the phone number if you want to know that. If you're in the Columbus, Indiana area, want to give us a call or visit the website, that, that'd be cool. Um, what we talked about, uh, let me see if I can get this. Hopefully that's on me. <laughs> okay. Uh, what Ron talked about today uh, was hope in difficult times. Uh, how we as Christians can have hope in difficult times. That's, that was the topic of our uh, And the Bible verse is John chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. And what we did is he listed in his sermon uh, several reasons that we have to trust Jesus. Uh, so, uh, you can trust Jesus because he is the Son of God. Only Jesus can do what he did. Um, none of us can do what Jesus did. Not possible. And because we can, we can trust him because he is the Son of God. Um, you can trust Jesus because of his impeccable integrity. Um, he's perfect. He's in every way. He uh, lived the perfect life. He taught people how to live, and he, you know, he never made a mistake. His integrity is 100%. Not very many people, well, I don't know anybody, no, there's nobody else except for him that could have 100% integrity. I mean, we, we strive for 100% integrity, at least I do, uh, but it's not possible. Uh, only Jesus could do it because he's perfect. We're not, we can't. But again, that's what we strive for. Um... You can trust Jesus because of his keen intellect. Obviously, being part of God, he knows everything. Uh, he knows what we've done in the past, what we're going to do in the future, what we're doing today. Uh, because of his great and um, all-knowing intellect, that's another reason we can trust him. Um, another reason is because of his power, his miraculous power, what he can do, um, and what he has done, and what he's going to do. Um, it's just... There's no comparison of anybody that could do what he did, whether it was during his ministry, uh, before his ministry, or now after the ministry. I mean, his um, the power is, um, there's no comparison. Um, another reason you can trust Jesus is because of his sacrificial death. In other words, he died for us. He had all the power in the universe, and he was still willing to be the servant, come down, and provide a sacrificial death so that he paid the price for our sins that we couldn't pay. Um, the next reason is that he predicted his resurrection. Um, he told the disciples ahead of time, hey, this is what's going to happen, and then it happened. I mean, uh, no one else can do that. Um, you can trust Jesus because uh, of his present position. And that is, he sits on the right hand of God. He's the only one. He's on the right hand of God. I mean, that says it all. Um, another thing he talked about was the A, B, C, and D. Is one, one, you have to admit you're a sinner. You have to, you have to come to God and say, hey, you know what? I screwed up. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. I've, ha I've had to admit that. Uh, that I've made mistakes. Uh, any Christian has had to do that. They've had to say, you know what? I've made mistakes. Come to God. And He'll forgive it. That's the great thing about Christianity and Jesus Christ is that He will forgive you. But you have to, you have to come to Him and say, hey, you know what? I screwed up. Um, different people screw up in different ways. Doesn't matter. You know, you made a mistake. you gotta, you got to admit your sins. Um, second is believe in Jesus Christ. You have to believe that He's real, and that he's doing what the Bible says is, which I do, and Christians do, and um, you just have to uh, put your faith and hope in him. It's that simple. Um, C is uh, you have to confess. You have to confess uh, that you sinned. You have to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Uh, that's something I've done. That's all something all Christians do or have done before they became Christians, they have to confess that Christ is Lord and accept Him. And then, of course, what Ron called D is for dunked. 
uh, which means baptism. You have to be baptized. You have to be born again Christian. You have to. Uh, that's something I did when I was 13 years old at Hilltop Christian Camp. Um, made that life decision, um, and uh, it's something you have to do. Um, the promise of the gift of the Holy Spirit, which, which lives within me, and um, I also want to say, but that's part of it. You have to. You have to accept. You have to admit you're a sinner, believe in Christ, confess that you're uh, a sinner and that you c confess that you accept Jesus and believe in Him and uh, th then get baptized. So the A, B, C, D, the D was dunked, um, which I thought was kind of funny, but uh, baptism. So that was the highlight of the uh, the Friend Day at East Columbus Christian Church in Columbus, Indiana. Um, like I said, uh, if you got questions, I'm sure you can call call the phone number if you're in the area or visit the, the website or just stop by. Uh, I'm sure if you're interested or have questions, I'm sure there's somebody that will be more than happy to talk to you, uh, whether it's a short conversation or a long conversation or multiple conversations. There's people willing to talk to you and help you uh, have a closer walk with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So uh, that's a little recap of Friend Day here at East Columbus Christian. Well, not here, but at East Columbus, actually it's that way. Uh, at East Columbus Christian Church in Columbus, Indiana. I'm Randall Emery, saying thanks for watching. Have a good day. May God bless you.